digging the guy, uh, burying the guy alive. What's going on? Oh, that sword is looking fine now with all the magic. Another thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? So she. She's freaking Frankenstein's bride. Or not. <laughs> playing Frankenstein. Ah! Damn. Uh. Ugly bastard. Yeah, I agree. Hello everyone and welcome to what is likely the penultimate episode of Season 1 of Myths Beyond Games. I am Dr. Mythos and in this episode we take a closer look at a creature known only as the Caretaker. We encounter this terrifying creature during the first of the DLCs for The Witcher 3 called the Hearts of Stone. While trying to complete a task, we are confronted by what can only be described as a Frankensteinian monster worthy of its own Mary Shelley novel. The creature seems to be sewn together from multiple body parts. Most notably, a flap of skin is sewn over what would normally be a face. According to the Beast Theory, this creature would be a relic. Like the crones, therefore an OG creature from pre-conjunction time. The theory has been espoused by a few bloggers in regards to what the creature is and where it came from. Along with the story expansion in the DLC, we also see additions to the library, namely a Necromicon, which some believe is re a reference to a volume by the same name in H.P. Lovecraft's Stulu Mythos. If this is the case, then it would seem to suggest that, perhaps, the caretaker had become interdimensional following the conjunction of the spheres and had remained as such until Olgird had summoned him to watch over his wife. As this is one nod of many in the DLC referring to the Stula Mythos, I would be inclined to believe this theory. Regardless, the inspiration for the caretaker's physique is rather clear. It is an iteration of Frankenstein's monster, though its nature is far more sinister. Where Frankenstein's monster wanted to learn and grow, and had some form of human intelligence, the caretaker behaves more like a robotic automaton, single-minded in achieving the tasks it is assigned. Well, that's it for today's episode. The next episode, we will be exploring the mysterious figure of Gaunt Odim and his possible inspirations. As always, be the change you want to see in the world, keep each other in love and respect, and I'll see you all next time.